Sueño wants to meet. Maybe he wants to negotiate, maybe he wants to kill you. Either way, watch your ass. We got a large cartel base. Keep your eyes open. I still don't see anybody. What the fuck is going on? Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. Phone. That's no IED. It's ringing too much. Find it. There's the phone. You're gonna answer. I ain't picking that shit up. Fuck's sake. Hola, caballeros. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. And here I thought we were gonna meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the subterfuge. But people in our line of work, we must be cautious. But I am not a liar. There are no Sicarios in your area. No, me that. I only wish to talk. Tell us where you are, then we'll talk. I am only attempting to end the bloodshed. There is no need for it. It's bad for my business. And it is bad for Bolivia. This country has been trying to get back on its feet for decades. Do not kick it back down. Says the guy who turned this country into his own personal glory hole. You got something of value to say? There are four cars in front of you. Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country. And your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me. For Santa Blanca. And you will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry, but we're gonna have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means you get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes, because we're coming for you. And we're gonna burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. Bowman, we're still breathing. The Sueño made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great. We told him we were gonna kill him. So you're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. We've received word from Pat Katari that one of his rebels might have discovered El Sueño's location. Talk to the rebel and find out what he knows. This is the RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. Shit. I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. Trying to call Pac, but it isn't going through. Think Pac and his rebels threw down with the cartel? And Pac had to run? Doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pac. Bowman, we've got a situation. We set up a meet with Pac and one of his guys. With Pac? Where are you? Listen. Instead of Pac, we found Amaru. He's been killed. You heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pakara. <laughs> Bowman. Bowman. The hell is going on here? No idea. But we gotta get to Bowman. Fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her. Then the call got cut off. Might be the sat phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pukara? Got it.
Bowman. Pack Atari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Pack wants to have a public execution. Sorry, are you saying we need to stop Sueño from getting killed? I'm saying Sueño deserves to rot in prison for the rest of his life, not go out like a martyr. More importantly, he's got enough information inside his head to take down every major cartel out there. I intend to extract that information as thoroughly and as painfully as possible. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the Rebels are no longer our allies. Contact! Rebel hostiles! Taking a shot. Helo's down. You guys ready? Fire. Copy.
show us your fucking hands! Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad Hefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes, sir. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir... Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir... Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you. If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. NOC Karen Bowman, Plan Bolivia After Action Report. Officially, Operation Kingslayer was a success. The Santa Blanca drug cartel was dismantled, Unidad forces are severely weakened, and major shakeups are happening inside the Bolivian government. While the investigation into DEA agent Ricky Sandoval's murder continues, we're confident that those responsible have been neutralized. Most importantly, the man known as El Sueño is no more. He is now confidential informant number 38726B, and CI 38726B has been a veritable goldmine of intelligence. The Las Manas Muertes cartel accountant gunned down by the Mexican Marines last week? That was his. The El Saif terrorist cell arrested in Austria a month ago? Him too. Those Corsican Mafia gunrunners taken down in West Africa? All thanks to the snitch formerly known as El Sueño. The deal is, as long as he provides us with actionable intel, we let him keep breathing that fresh, freedom-filled air. Obviously, he's not ratting out his friends. These are all rival groups encroaching on his business. But, as the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking enemy. And what does he get in return? Aside from the elimination of anyone standing in his way? A luxurious three-bedroom condo in Pinecrest, Florida. Along with free meals, a 50 buck per diem, and unlimited pay-per-view. All at the expense of our noble taxpayers. Of course, freedom is a malleable term. Thus, his room and board comes with 24-hour surveillance, live-in guards, and cameras in every room. Ever wonder how a former drug lord takes a shit? Trust me on this. It's not nearly as exciting as you'd think. And since most of the shit I say gets redacted anyway, I might as well give you a glimpse into my crystal ball. It won't last. Eventually, he's gonna run out of targets. And then what? No way CIA is putting up the money for a lifetime membership in WITSEC. Best case scenario? Mexico finally files their extradition papers and he ends up in prison for about a week before he disappears into the back of a suspiciously unattended laundry truck. Worst case, we just cut him loose. Maybe he spends a few weeks vacationing in the darkest corners of Eastern Europe before making his way down to El Salvador. 
starts up a new cartel. Calls it El Renacimiento, the rebirth. Spends ten times more on security forces this go-round. Then makes his way into Peru and takes over the coca trade there. But now, he doubles down. Meth manufacturing. Heroin from the Middle East. MDMA, bath salt, steroids. If someone wants to swallow it, snort it, smoke it, or inject it, he'll make it, move it, and market it. Except guess the fuck what? I will be right there waiting for him. Me and my friends. Those operators. The ones who can't be seen, can't be heard, and can't possibly exist. Yet somehow, still manage to haunt your dreams. Bowman out. Yes, I understand. Fuck! 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 Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman, it seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! <clears throat> The dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy, that I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend, killed him, decapitated my partner, massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees, which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying, the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along, and the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels, all with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia and Los Hijos del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. 
In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. Get ready. Fire. Roger. 